Folks, today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee, out here at exit 407, and we are in search for Christmas. We heard that Outdoor World here has got a lot of Christmas going on. And then we're gonna head down the parkway in search of more Christmas. We're gonna do, we're, we're doing a little Christmas shopping. Dawn, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do it. So they have Santa's Wonderland, free photos with Santa from November the 5th to December the 24th. And we're in luck because it's after November the 5th. That means, could that mean that Santa is here at Bass Pro Shops? He might be. Yeah, we'll have to look for him today. And we are here guys, we're here at Bass Pro Shops, but this is Christmas time at the Bass Pro Shops. They got canoes and everything you can imagine side by sides and they have their reefs up and they have some photo opportunities for you know take photos with the family who would have thought that bass pro shops would be a place to go during christmas right let's go ahead let's head on in let's let's check this out they got a great big huge fish tank in there don and i that's one of my favorite spots and then also we do a lot of shopping here i get a lot of my my clothes i like the redhead um shorts you know these are these shorts i wear are, are redhead and um i like <laughs> they're well that's the name of the brand but they um i like them because they got all different kinds of pockets because when you're a vlogger you have batteries you have sd chip you have all kinds of stuff you carry and i i don't like to carry a backpack so what i do is i just fill my pockets up with with camera gear and extra cameras and things like that so that's the reason why i like these pants so much but uh, yeah we're here at the the outdoor world let's go ahead and check this out and here's a photo opportunity right here at the entrance and they're very patriotic here and there's a great big american flag all done in, in christmas lights i think santa wants a new fishing boat for christmas Love the theming in all the Bass Pro Shops. And this one here is just really themed well. You, you open the door with a deer or an elk antler. Yeah, welcome to Bass Pro Shops, right? They're just amazing. They're huge. There's a, there's a moose up there, Don. As soon as you walk in, you feel like you're in a fishing cabin or a little cabin up in the north. And they got a nice warm fireplace in it. And it's grand too. Well, it's got a little Smoky Mountain cabin there. Right? Ooh, that is a nice warm fire. And it's kind of a cool morning, but we're supposed to get up to 80 degrees today. So, yeah, I got the Christmas wreaths out. And they have a big old, big old moose up there, right? Oh my goodness, Dawn behind the wheel of a four-wheeler. Now that happened before. Yeah. And you screamed the whole time. I was here. I never been on. Ah, but you liked it though, right? Yeah. It you, you can own your own here, right? It's only about five thousand dollars out the door by the time you, you do everything. You'd be riding around in your own four-wheeler. Yep. And it's already decorated for Christmas. They'll probably throw in the reef. Maybe not. Awesome. Maybe not. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this tree. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and they got three four-wheelers under under it. Make a great present for somebody, right? I can see dad and maybe their two sons or daughter and a son. Yeah. And this place is massive. Two floors very high ceilings, a great big huge fish tank with a waterfall, and yeah, it's a shopping mecca for outdoor enthusiasts. And they don't just sell outdoor goods or clothing, they sell a little bit of everything here. And so when you look around, you'll come across really unique things. You got stuff for your dog, and they even have some outdoor uh, bed sheets here. 
Got little uh, Christmas trees with reindeer on them. Call, it's called Critter Christmas. Yeah, $69 for the king set. If you're familiar with Bass Pro Shops, then you'll know Uncle Buck. He's kind of like their, I don't know, kind of like their mascot. He might, he probably was a real guy at one time, but they have a slew of restaurants, even bowling alleys and stuff at some of their, um, are named after him at some of their locations. But they do have his uh, beer battered fish fry. They also have some pork cracklins, crispy, crispy curls. Yeah, so you can, can get everything here. You get roasted nuts. It's kind of like the Bucky's of the outdoor world, you know? I got a little, little bit of everything. High caliber uh, exotic meats. Oh, wow. So what's this? You got elk, buffalo, venison. And uh, yeah, it comes in a little, ooh, that's a heavy, a little ammo pack. And they want $50 for it. The theming in here is really good. It got this old stove. America's Tea. Yellowstone Gold. And then this is fun too. This Jack Link's uh, great big huge mug. Insulated. Oh, it comes with some um, beef jerky in there. Pretty cool. What do they want? They want 30 bucks. That would make a good gift or a stocking stuffer for somebody out there. And yeah, they even have some barbecue sauce. It's in a, a soda bottle. <laughs> called porters they want ten dollars for that so yeah they have a little bit of everything in here i uh, got some snacks in here some some pretzels big old barrel of them uh, eight dollars yeah pickled garlic spicy garlic pickle chips pickled green beans and they have the biggest bag of jerky peppered uh, what do they want for that $14.99. Um, 12 ounces. And if you're in the hot stuff, they got some of that also. So you don't have to be an outdoor enthusiast. You don't have to hunt. You don't have to fish. You don't you can come here and shop. I think there's a little bit of everything for everyone in here. They even have a little kids' toy section over there, which we'll look at a little bit later. But they do have everything here. And if you have a cabin, then they're gonna have the decor. Uh, for you, they have this little reindeer and this bear over here. I like this one here, 16 piece, and they want $70 for that. Oh, they got some nice Christmassy type sweaters. They look very, very warm. Oh, this hat here reminds me of something that the Youpers would wear. Yeah. You know, remember the song Rusty Chevrolet? So if you don't know who the Youpers are, check them out they they make music they're from the up of michigan they're kind of a comedy type yeah. check just go to youtube put punch in da youpers rusty chevrolet do that and then you'll find them from there they're they're a lot of fun to listen to yeah so we're over here at the women's section looking at some of the uh christmas teas and and merch over here and they do have a, an assortment. Dear Santa, the fine good. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they have even they even have a red one there. It says peace and joy, right? So Dawn, this here looks kind of warm. You know what I mean? Kind of a pretty sweater. Yeah, this is really super soft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, $50. You know what? The, that would be good on a one horse open sleigh, right? One horse open sleigh, right? Of course, with it getting cold out, they no longer have the shorts I like to wear, but they do have the pants. And I am going to get some, but I was just thinking, Don. we were both thinking, what happens if we lose more weight? Yeah. So I think what we're going to have to do is just get some belts for right now and wait till we, we feel that we get down even lower, then buy some clothes. So we're, I don't think we're going to buy anything today. I don't... I don't want to buy any clothes right now because I don't know what size I'm at. I just dropped 40 pounds and I might gain some back or I might keep losing. I'm hoping to keep losing. And here is the big centerpiece with this great big huge moose on. There's your moose <laughs> that we were looking all over Canada, all over New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine, and the UP of Michigan. We couldn't find one, but they have one here, right? Yeah. I wonder if he's got a name. They're big, aren't they? Yeah. I wouldn't want that guy like come charging at me. 
he'd do some damage to your vehicle too. He would, he would. And the great big huge fish tank. Wow. I got deer up in there. I could sit here for hours and just watch the fish swim around. They had some bass in there and you gotta have an old pickup with a Christmas tree in the back or it's not Christmas. And this one here, oh my gosh, they are, um, it's packed full of gifts. <laughs> quite, a, quite a few of them at that. I don't know how you can even drive down the road with all that, right? And um, yeah, that's a nice little decorative pillows. I think they're still decorating a little bit for Christmas. Oh yeah, the Christmas lights are, are a lot of fun. Um, I think it's um, Holly Cookie Campers and the oh, wow. gingerbread one is cute. And look how adorable that is with the chicken. So these are gingerbread yeah. houses, right? Those are cookies. Yep, they got an Oreo one there. They have a Sour Patch. I don't know about Sour Patch, you know? Oh, Cuban in the Woods. That's cute. Yeah. Ooh, a campfire. Yeah, they have a, quite the assortment of them, don't they? Oreo and chocolate. Oh, those are cool, too. A little salmon and a mix that cocoa. So you just put it in like um, water. in hot water, right? Yep. And it dissolves and makes. Oh wow, that's. Kind of cute. How much are they? Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. So they're like, yeah, yeah, like like three fifty a, a cup, right? Yeah. Queen Anne. It's not Christmas unless you have the Queen Anne and Christmas, cherries. Christmas, Christmas. Christmas decorations. Tis the season. Trim a tree. Deck the halls with a great selection of holiday decor. And the trees are are up. Peanuts ones. That one makes blue hot cocoa. That one's green, and that one makes red. Oh wow! How much are are these? Um, twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Yep. Fishing Santas are are a lot of fun. And yet again, it's not Christmas unless there's a an old pickup with a Christmas tree in the back. So I have a lot of ornaments for your outdoors enthusiasts. And I got some hunting ones right here. I hunt, white-tailed deer, uh, born to hunt. Yeah, you got their their orange jackets, right? Now this is something you don't want to see in the woods while you're hunting. A deer you. <laughs> hunting you, right? Yeah. That'd be like revenge, right? Yeah. Who wants revenge? That would be scary. Especially if you're a hunter, right? They have fishing bobbers that are a light set. That is, I have never seen that ever. I don't know what they want for them. $19.99. Okay, so they want $19.99. They also have these lanterns, lanterns. right? And they have a little, they have bass. Oh. They got different bass over here. And yeah, campers. Camper, yeah. yeah. Could you imagine being a little boy on Christmas morning and receive that for a Christmas present? I bet you mom is real happy that dad went out and got a four-wheeler, right? I bet you it's it's kind of a tense situation, right? They got some inflatables here. There's Santa being pulled by a, a reindeer in a boat. And oh gosh, Dawn, Santa riding a fish. And now these ones here are, are animated, so they, they move back and forth and... I think they're excellent. Uh, these mm -hmm. guys are a lot of fun. How cute is that? They're doing a the festive float thing. Yeah, that's the way to go, right? Mm -hmm. We're on the lookout for Santa, and I don't see him anywhere. Tons of four-wheelers, lots of boats, and I think I see a Santa village or something down over that way. Let's go over there and get a closer look. These guys are cute, aren't they? Yeah. This is kind of cool also. It's a barbecue playset, wooden barbecue playset. I think I need this in my life. It's a, it's a trick gator. So pretty much it's a remote control gator. I think you put it in the water and it floats around. 
know what I mean? You see people like there's like YouTubers out there that do that and get people's reactions, right? They're <laughs> want thirty dollars. Remote control boats. They have plenty of toys for the kids this year, even some drones for forty dollars. And this is their Christmas land back here. Of course, it looks like Santa is not here at the moment, but this is where he would be. And they have the elf on the shelf, Dawn. Our friend Blondie, she does a little series each each Christmas about Elf on the Shelf. And she puts them in, you know, different positions. And Elf on the Shelf's got a, his own reindeer, right? Yep. And a, a llama? Is that a llama? I think that's, that's, that's a fox. Oh, that's an Arctic fox. Okay. First, I thought it was a llama. It looked like honey bear <laughs> for a second. But, yeah, this is this is where the big guy would be. And they say it's a free photo. So this looks like one of those things you use at the bank to yeah. suck up like your, you know what I mean? Like your, your paycheck or something. Yeah. But you can put the elf in there. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> oh, you can carry him around. Yeah. That's what it, Blondie. It even opens like a bank. Yeah, it's like that. I think Blondie yeah. needs one of those. Hey, you can even buy different clothes for him. Look at this here. You could be super <laughs> elf on a shelf. You can always buy your husband a bass buggy, an 18-foot bass buggy, for $31,120. Yep. Spend the summer out on, a, out on the lake. Back when we were kids, we used to take a blanket and drape it over and yeah. do the same thing, right? Yeah, take a couple chairs and drape it over and yep. part of the bed. And yep. We had to rig our own tents up. Now you can buy a tent. Now you can buy a tent, right? Yeah. And to the second level we go. And they have a little shooting gallery here. You can take a shot at some of these things. They'll move around and... Just a random pink flying elephant, right? What in the heck? There's a chicken in the tree. Yep. I think if you like shoot the, the outhouse, they say pardon me i'm in here or something like that right yeah. unfortunately uh the change machine is broke down or we would have gave this thing a a whirl now one of the things that bass pro is known for is these great big huge bags of like gummy bears and gummy worms and tootsie rolls of course tootsie rolls being my my favorite and they have all kinds of crazy bulk candy so i think i found something that i could actually use uh, when we're traveling on the road, I'm always looking for like little bags to put things in, you know, try to organize things better. And this here, even though it's probably just a fishing bag or so, but I could do a lot with it, you know, like, you know, just everything. You could be, you know, um, put cords for things and whatever. So I think I'm going to grab one of these. It's only $13. So I think we're gonna get this one here. Yeah, it'll make good to, to organize things in the in the trunk of the car better. And a lot of taxidermy all through here. And there's a lot to look at looking down from the second level. Check this out, I've never seen this before. They're insoles that are heated. It comes with this little like key fob to turn up the heat up or down. And they want $130. And if you're looking for your morning buzz, they have chainsaw coffee. <laughs> they even have Space Bear, too. Oh my goodness, what I would do for... So a big bag of red birds, right? Especially during the holidays. 120 calories for 16 of them. It's not too bad, Dom. Like, if you did them in moderation, yeah. it wouldn't be so bad. Look at cherry loader. I don't know what a Look cherry loader is. They're soft and they got white stuff in there. So we did get that bag. We're going to hold off on some clothes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drive down the parkway. I think we're going to head over to Russell Stover, right? Right. Check out the candy. You guys, probably some Christmas going on. And then um, I think we're going to have lunch somewhere. We could do 
uh, uh, Petros chili and chips, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. It's kind of like a, you know, they, they do a lot of chili and stuff, so it's kind of like, you know, the season for that, right? Yeah. Over there is Bass Pro Shops, and we're on the other side of exit 407 next to the fireworks supermarket and Bucky's is just up there on the hill and we're gonna have lunch at one of our favorite places when we're over this way Petro's chili and chips and this is what I'm after today the spudtacular piping hot baked potatoes loaded with delicious toppings Yes, they have all beef hot dogs, they have chili and chips, they have nachos, spuds, they even have salad wedges, and they're known for their orange sweet tea. And Petro's has been a Tennessee tradition since 2001. And it's one of a kind. Yeah, very unique to this area. I ordered the Petro baked potato. It comes with some corn chips, cheese, chili. Um, and this is the Petro chili. And that's the... That's a medium. That's a medium. Look at the size of that thing. A sour cream, uh, tomato, a little bit of cheese in it. That's a lot, right? And they gave you some taco sauce. Yeah, a little, little bit of taco sauce, right? Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Now, we've had this before. It's one of our favorites. Little, I do little. like chili. It's so, good. we highly recommend this. We consider this like a little local gem. If you want some you know, taste of, of Tennessee, this little gas station on exit 407 is the place to be. Now, unless you're in Knoxville, which they're all over, and they are starting to pop up in all different areas. I believe they have a new one over in Newport. And look at the size of that that potato. That's a, that's a lot. And that there will be my dinner <laughs> for today. That's what Dawn is dealing oh, with. Oh, it's right got now. corn chips in it. Yeah. Well, I was digging down and it was kind of hard. That's what they're known for, it's the corn chips. So I kind of like a walking taco in a way, you know, but first off, that's the size of my hand. So I would say this is, is as long as my hand. It's definitely, there's a lot there. I'll be taking some of this home. There's just no way. And we've done a review here a long time ago. And every now and then, it's been a while since we've been out here, uh, probably at least three or four months. But it's yeah, a little bit better. It's better than like, you know, hamburgers and french fries and stuff, right? Mm. The baked potato is like cooked all the way through. And That's it's a big. And yeah. it's a big potato. It's like one of those massive, I don't know, like, must be from Idaho, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, the potato is just piping hot and um, you can, tell, you can see how big it is. <laughs> and the corn chips do set it off. Well, folks, that's all she wrote. <laughs> that's a big potato. Bigger than I remembered it. That is always really good. I highly suggest uh, Petro's Chili and Chips. <sighs> I am so full, man. I couldn't even finish it. Yeah, right in Ken Joe's Market here on exit 407. Now we're heading to Russell Stover's. Take a look at some of their Christmas candy and maybe some discounted stuff while we're here. You know, Dawn, this is gonna be extremely hard to go in here and not get anything. I might be able to pick some up for, you know, maybe for mom or the sisters or maybe take them up to Michigan to some of our friends when we visit. And they are all geared up for Christmas. These stockings are, are, are wonderful. His nose are, yeah, it's got some, some, chocolates in there they're twenty dollars and the smell of chocolate is in the air and they got lots of christmas ten dollars for these uh, exclusive christmas treat bags and they have an assortment of all their their specialty christmas chocolates they're twenty four dollars for the box and they got these huge sleighs here uh, 139 dollars for the whole thing you get all the chocolate and even the sleigh, that make a good gift to someone. Yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Yeah, $24. Treats. 
Oh wow, they have a Christmas tree. Now they have dark chocolate and caramel. And ooh, they have the peppermint. That's my favorite this time of year. The peppermint chocolate. $29.99. If you are looking for candy for Christmas, it's out, it's here. And they have a huge selection, don't they? And they even have the discount of stuff in the back. It won't be Christmas. It'd be most likely Halloween, but still, I mean, if you're looking for something for yourself, you know. Oh, these are really good. They're twelve dollars. Jordan almonds. For twelve ounce bag. Yep. Milk chocolate Santas. Mm -hmm. So these meltaways are very popular, and Russell Stover has got their own. Uh, it's little Santas you can. They can go. Is like, it for hot cocoa? Yeah, and they can like take a little swim and. In a hot tub, right? And then they melt and make it, your cocoa more chocolatey. Yeah, more more chocolatey. Hmm. Melting Santas, right? Yeah, for two forty nine, it could be yours. And that's what I do when I get in a hot tub. I melt away, yeah. <laughs> kind of like Frosty. And they even have the Christmas decorated gift boxes. They're assortment boxes, ready to go for this holiday season. And it's the smell of chocolate is just prominent in the air. And they have pretty much every chocolate imaginable. And they have these assorted chocolates. Like old Forrest Gump would say, life is like a box, a box of chocolates. chocolates. You, don't know what you're gonna get. you never know what you're going to get, right? So if you like a certain chocolate, you can make your own box. They have assorted boxes. Life happens. You know, joy little things. And then you can... Not sure what that is. Uh, dark chocolate. Yes. Good. And then here's the little boxes you stick them in. So you can create you can create your own your own box, right? That's really cute. It is nineteen ninety nine per pound, but when you buy two pounds, you save a dollar per pound, right? So yeah, we got a little assortment going on here. And it looks like they have plenty of those sleds. That would be a great gift just to, you know, get one of your gift ideas out of the way and they have Pez. We got to visit the factory in Connecticut not too long ago. We got to see how they were being made and it's it's quite interesting, isn't it, Don? Yeah, pretty cool they have trolls and Star Wars and but you know I like I like the traditional Santa one. Made from scratch with the finest ingredients. Fifty nine dollars. Now these are the premium ones and there's Three pounds of chocolate there. I got this really nice little Christmassy wash tub filled full of chocolates. Looks like they got Santas in there and assortments. And that's $70. And if the big sleigh is too much, well, then they have little sleighs. And these ones here are $79. They come with Almond Delights Caramel or Caramel, I guess. This by far is the biggest advent calendar I have seen anywhere. It's $25. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. So I got some games and stuff on the back, right? Right? And then, um, yeah. Oh, he's upside down now. <laughs> you can hear all the candy rattling around on the inside. And these tins are always cool. They end up collecting junk after you eat all the chocolates, right? You you put like all like batteries and stuff like that, whatever, all kinds of junk. Oh, that's cool also. Dawn, growing up, we always had these in our stockings, you know, the little Santa. They're usually hollow, but um, yeah, yeah. Yes, they are. And these ones too, we always had these in the- I like those. Yeah, we had like three chocolates in it. Yeah, so it didn't last very long, probably just after you open your gifts, right? And we're not gonna go through and show you everything, but I think you guys get the idea of what this place is is about. Um, you know, they have, yet again, all their all your favorites. But then again, I go to certain aisles and I see things, what's this? This is a, oh, it's assorted chocolates? It is. What do they want for that? Um, Thirty dollars, but that's that's kind of a a cool box. You could probably use that afterwards, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, and, and Whitman's grew up. Yeah, you know, we always grew up with them, also. So Russell Stover is celebrating a hundred years, Don. Oh wow, that's kind of yep. cool. Yep. 
there's the original candy store, you know, and then they were in malls and and all over. And I think that might be him right there. That might be, <laughs> or at least we could assume that's who that is. You know, this is the way I would go. Just a bag of peppermints. Because there's a peppermint stick for old St. Nick. But back there, that's where the deals are at. Now, that's going to be Halloween. That's going to be, you know, the stuff from last season. But it's at a discount. So, I mean, I wouldn't give that away to anyone. But you could indulge yourself. So you can buy some gifts out here for the folks you, you love. And then you can treat yourself in the back room, right? We're back here in their bargain area. And these are the bloopers. And these are a really good price. You can get like three pounds of chocolate for like $27. And if you buy one, you get one free. So you're getting six pounds of chocolate for $27. And what is a blooper? Sometimes candies are created in their kitchen and they're, they're slightly less perfect looking. There's nothing wrong with the taste. It's just they're, you know, they're looking a little, look a little weird. Like Santa might not be happy he might be sad <laughs> but there's probably not these are just the chocolates anyways um yeah so if you're a chocolate lover this is the time to get here especially chocolate being so expensive this is a deal don buy one three pounds get you get another one free six pounds of chocolate for 27 dollars and they have pretty much everything back here they have sugar free they have the big assorted boxes uh, for $29 it is from floor to ceiling with chocolate uh, look at these the whole stack of these Whitman's $45 and it's like 72 pieces of chocolate and they don't play around with their stock do that look at all the tins there must be a thousand of them so this is the leftover candy and it's good for months and months after the season it's still edible. Nobody's ever died in our family. <laughs> but you can get some Valentines. And, of course, it's like half off. So it's like $3.49, you know, for that. And as you go through, you know, you'll you'll see the seasons change. So if you if you missed a season, you can get it here, get it back here, right? Jelly beans, yeah, for $4.99. Um, and they have the Easter stuff. Over here, you got these crosses, solid milk chocolate crosses for 89 cents for that. They also have the hollow bunnies, right? $5, yes. Yeah. So about a week ago, we were celebrating Halloween, and here's the Halloween reduced candy. It's $5 for an assortment. And this is where Dawn usually goes crazy. We Both of us go crazy is like the pumpkin chocolate truffles, and they just have... A bunch of this is 74 cents a package right so and they have plenty of it here this stuff here didn't make it on the truck in time to be sold and this whole section here is is nothing but candy leftovers right closeouts yeah so they have uh, caramel pumpkins 74 cents they have the ooh, this is these are good too Dom these coconut creams I have never seen this before. Semi-solid turkeys. They have Thanksgiving candy? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen Thanksgiving candy. It's usually just Christmas, right? Or, or Halloween or Easter or Valentine's Day. And this is where we shop for the holidays, friends and family. And we'll come over here and get it right here at the factory store. Chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats. Dark chocolate covered pretzel rods. They have these great big huge chocolate peanut butter cups. Chocolate covered strawberries. I got turtles over there. So we got some chocolates and what we like to do is stick them on the package next to the name tag and the bow. It's kind of like an added added bonus. And um, you know nothing, nothing too uh, crazy but it's just a little something. Um, cause it's, we're getting ready for Christmas, aren't we? So we had a great day, did some shopping, got a few things, looked at some Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was, it, yeah, it was, it was a good day. I like watch, I'm um, shopping for Christmas stuff. I'm just looking around. Yeah. And we are getting ready 
for a big road trip that's coming up and just getting ready for Christmas. And we got to get ready for Christmas earlier because when we come back from our road trip, we won't have much time to make sure. So we got to do our Christmas shopping now mm-hmm. and things. And then um, we got a great thing coming up. We're doing a lot of great things for 2024. We're just super stoked for. And uh, that's what I've been doing, planning things, doing a little little Christmas. And um, but Folks, that's going to do it for today. Here on Exit 407 here in Sevierville slash Kodak. There's like, technically this is Kodak. Technically it's Sevierville. I don't know. If you guys like this vlog. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you guys don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. We have, a, like yet again, we have a great big road trip coming up. And just a lot of fun things for 2024. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.